Beneath the feet of 120 million people, the Earth is tearing itself apart. A crack 6,500 kilometers long is ripping through Africa, visible even from space. Scientists predict that in tens of millions of years, a new ocean will be born here, splitting the continent in two. But here's what terrifies geologists. That might be the best case scenario, because if this crack fails to open, the alternative could unleash volcanic hell on a scale humanity has never witnessed. Welcome to the story of the most dangerous fault line on Earth, the Great Rift Valley looks peaceful. Stunning landscapes stretch across Ethiopia, Kenya, and Tanzania. Mountains, valleys, and some of the most beautiful terrain on the planet. But beneath this paradise lies a tectonic battleground. Africa isn't one solid piece. It's actually two massive plates. The Nubian plate carrying most of the continent and the smaller Somali plate bearing the horn of Africa and they're pulling apart at seven millimeters per year. This isn't just happening in one place. Both plates are also separating from the Arabian plate to the north, creating what geologists call a triple junction in Ethiopia's Afar region. Three enormous chunks of Earth's crust, all moving in different directions. The force behind this? A superheated plume of magma rising from deep within the mantle, pushing upward with unimaginable pressure. It's the same mechanism that ripped apart the ancient supercontinent Gondwana 180 million years ago. The same process that created the Red Sea. So what happens next? There are two possibilities and both will reshape our planet forever. The first scenario sounds almost peaceful. If the rift continues widening, the land within the valley will gradually sink. Over tens of millions of years, water from the Indian Ocean will flood into the basin creating Earth's sixth ocean. Parts of Ethiopia, Somalia, Kenya, and Tanzania would break away, forming a new island continent drifting in the Indian Ocean. The world map would look completely different. New maritime routes would emerge, nations would redraw territorial boundaries, but it would happen so slowly that life would adapt. Humanity would have time to adjust, but there's a second scenario, and it's the stuff of nightmares. Look at what happened in North America a billion years ago. A nearly identical rift system tried to split the continent into three pieces. It carved out Lake Superior and spread 3,000 kilometers from the Midwest all the way to Kansas. Then it just stopped. The crack couldn't open any further. It failed. When that rift couldn't spread sideways, the pressure had nowhere to go but up. What followed was catastrophic. More than 2 billion cubic kilometers of lava erupted through the failed rift. Individual lava flows exceeded 600 cubic kilometers, extending over 40 kilometers in every direction. These weren't violent explosive eruptions. They were effusive, meaning the lava just kept flowing and flowing, obliterating everything in its path. The basalt from those eruptions cooled and solidified, essentially gluing the continent back together. That's why North America didn't split. The rift failed, but the volcanic devastation was unimaginable. Now, here's the terrifying part. The East African rift system is three times bigger than that ancient North American rift. The warning signs are already appearing. In September 2005, Ethiopia's Afar region experienced something shocking. The Dabahu volcano, dormant throughout recorded history, suddenly began to swell. Then came 131 earthquakes in rapid succession. On September 26th, the volcano exploded, blowing out boulders and ash, creating a crater 500 meters long. Using sensors, researchers discovered that a 60 kilometer long dike of solidified magma had formed beneath the surface, tearing open an eight meter wide crack in a matter of days. In 2018, another massive chasm appeared in Kenya, a kilometer long gash that opened seemingly overnight. While heavy rainfall exposed this particular crack, the underlying mechanism is the same massive rift system pulling the continent apart. But the real terror lies in the volcanoes. Mount Nyiragongo erupted in 1977, emptying a lake of unusually liquid lava that flowed at 60 kilometers per hour, the fastest lava flow ever recorded. It erupted again in 2002, partially destroying the city of Goma, and again in 2021. Tanzania's Oldoinyo Lengai volcano, quiet for decades, suddenly erupted in spectacular fashion in 2007, continuing well into 2008. Satellite monitoring shows the ground around it bulging, a sign that magma pressure is building below. When volcanoes start to bulge, it means the pressure underneath is increasing. And that's exactly what precedes massive eruptions. There are now 78 active volcanoes in the East African Rift System, and they're all waking up. Here's where it gets worse. Ol Doinyo Lengai produces something unique and terrifying, natural carbonatite lava, known as cold lava. Most lava emerges at over 1,000 degrees Celsius and solidifies relatively quickly. This lava erupts at just 500 to 600 degrees Celsius. It has the consistency of olive oil, allowing it to flow faster and farther than normal lava. While typical lava cools and stops before traveling too far, this stuff just keeps going. And here's the nightmare. 
Mount Nyiragongo, 750 kilometers away on an entirely separate fault, is also producing similarly alkaline, fast-flowing lava. If the massive magma plume beneath the entire rift system shares these properties, any major eruption would be catastrophically more destructive than anything in human history. If the East African rift follows the pattern of North America's failed rift, we're looking at what geologists call a large igneous province event or LIP. These are massive outpourings of lava onto Earth's surface. They happen when mantle plumes create divergent fault systems that then fail to spread properly. Unlike the slow, steady process of seafloor spreading, LIP events are episodic. They occur in violent bursts over much shorter periods. The scale is hard to comprehend. For comparison, the 1783 Laki eruption in Iceland released just 14 cubic kilometers of lava. The resulting haze reached Syria, caused crop failures across Europe, and killed a quarter of Iceland's population through famine. That was from 14 cubic kilometers. A single lava flow from North America's failed rift exceeded 600 cubic kilometers. If the East African rift becomes a LIP event, lava flows could cover nearly half of Ethiopia, most of Kenya, and extend into Uganda and Tanzania. The volcanic gases released would trigger a volcanic winter, a global cooling event that would devastate agriculture worldwide. With 100 20 million people living directly in the affected area and billions more facing food shortages, we'd be looking at starvation on an unprecedented scale. And here's a truly chilling detail. Over the last 260 million years, LIP events have correlated precisely with every single mass extinction in Earth's history. Every single one. Before you panic, there's crucial context. The rift is opening at six to seven millimeters per year. We're talking millions, possibly tens of millions of years before anything catastrophic occurs. These changes happen on geological timescales, not human ones. Whatever happens won't be in our lifetimes or our great great grandchildren's lifetimes, but the pressure is building. The earthquakes are intensifying. The volcanic activity is increasing. Scientists continue monitoring every tremor, every millimeter of ground deformation, hoping to detect what's happening deep below the surface. Because while we can estimate that millions of years remain, we don't actually know when the tipping point will come, the moment when the rift commits to splitting peacefully or failing catastrophically. There is one silver lining, the massive upwelling of magma beneath the rift provides access to incredible geothermal energy. Ethiopia and Kenya have already reached over 1,100 megawatts of geothermal po power generation. If this resource becomes more accessible, countries above the fault could become completely energy self-sufficient. In a world desperately seeking renewable energy to replace fossil fuels, the nation spanning the East African rift system might be sitting on an economic goldmine. But that doesn't change the fundamental reality something has to give. Either the plates will continue pulling apart, slowly creating a new ocean over millions of years, or the rift will fail and the pressure will explode upward in volcanic fury that could reshape life on Earth. The reshaping of Africa has already begun. Deep beneath the surface, forces beyond our comprehension are deciding the fate of a continent. Whatever the future holds, the Africa our distant descendants know will look nothing like the Africa we see today. If this video earned your subscription, hit that subscribe button and join us for more incredible, educational science-backed content. Drop a comment below and tell us, if you had to choose, would you rather see Africa split peacefully into two continents over millions of years, or are we heading towards something far more catastrophic? What do you think is really happening beneath our feet?